Hey y'all, come on in and welcome to my fabulous closet tour. Hey, there's my once shoe organizer, now bracelet holder. I adore this because it gives my closet a very boutique vibe while keeping bracelets organized and out of boxes. Is that a scarf hanger? Yep, well, it was. It is now a necklace hanger. Hmm, I sure do love changing things up like that. I used a vintage bookshelf and plastic containers to help organize this group of shoes. As for the rest of my shoes, I kept the boxes in which I bought them and displayed them in the shelf above, like you would see in a boutique. Staying true to the boutique theme, I have displayed a few things on the walls which I will change out throughout the year, but right now I have my vintage Casablanca tote that I just bought and a gray fedora. Organizing doesn't always have to mean boring or ugly. In this case, I'm using vintage suitcases to help organize extra purses. This is super easy to do and finding a vintage suitcase is very easy nowadays. I'm a southern gal and I love my pearls, especially my vintage ones. So I used this dress form I got from my grand a couple years ago to help display them. While finishing up my closet organization shopping, I found this cool vintage ashtray at an antique store in Johnson City. It is perfect for displaying my chunky rings. Moving on to the next side of the closet. I also have a hat hole on the wall here. I foresee myself changing this one up as well. And there's my vintage mannequin of steel sporting a VIP shirt, of course. <laughs> my favorite perfumes are laid out on the dresser for easy access, plus I think the bottles are a nice decoration. Out of all the hats that I own, I think this blue Gertrude one is definitely one of my favorites. Oh, and I just love these blue cat design earrings. Check her out on Etsy, you'll love her too. I have a lot of colorful skinny belts and I wanted to display them in a nifty way. So I rolled them up and put them in this container I got from TJ Maxx. Speaking of nifty ways to store things, old cigar boxes are great for storing everything from jewelry to makeup to perfume samples. I've accumulated a lot of perfume samples on my blogging adventures, so this works great. If you have a lot of necklaces like I do, creating a jewelry wall is an easy way to organize them but it is also a fabulous way to add personality to your space. All you need is a hammer, a few nails, and an eye for design. Remember these curtains from a previous VIP home? These are so much fun. I love changing them up. I bought this cabinet at Home Depot. It originally had two doors, um, but I took this one off so that I could store a few more of my clothes and make it really cute. Up underneath there, I have a few extra shoes from the overflow, but they're still neat and organized and that's all that matters. Inside the cabinet, I have a variety of things. On top, I have a lot of my winter wear stuff like scarves and hats and these cute pattern fabric boxes. On this shelf, I have clear containers with my belts and little backpacks and makeup bags. Next shelf, I have jewelry, extra space for jewelry, a special little earring organizer, my Kate Spade watch, love my Kate Spade watch, and my theater makeup. On the bottom shelf, I have some overflow jewelry that comes in the boxes already, and some like perfume, some little keepsakes, and some nail care stuff. Now you know I follow, I follow. 
Well, that's it, y'all. Thanks for watching my closet tour. Be sure to stay tuned to VIP Home, where I will change up my closet decor and share it with y'all. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Y'all stay fabulous. Sarah, Sarah, I love you so I've been a real bad boy And you tried to make yourself a widow Sarah, 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 I love you so I said the bullet don't hurt me But losing you would lay me low Sarah, Sarah, I love you so